Man, strange enough, my video on tryhards and video games was one of the most controversial videos I've made in this year. And I made this video. But what wasn't surprising is that there was a lot of people who didn't even watch the video leaving comments and coming at me on Twitter. Because when I actually talked to some of these people, we were mostly in agreement. Also got a lot of people from the fighting game community thinking it's about them. Dog, nowhere in my video did I mention fighting games one-on-one -on -one anything like that i was talking about first person shooters hero based shooters and mobas and then as a subtopic i was talking about children's party games like fall guys nowhere did i say anything about fighting games you know why i already know everybody in the fighting game communities are deranged now nah, but fighting games were designed to be competitive there's no such thing as a casual in a fighting game scene unless you're playing at a friend's house you, no matter what you get you're gonna get competitive people in that game However, first person shooters have a bunch of PvE, single player campaign, story modes. When was the last time you heard somebody talk about story mode in a fighting game? Unless they're talking about playing it to unlock a character, never. Because fighting games are not for stories. They were designed for competition. I mean, you could argue that MOBAs are too, but I know a lot of people that just sit down and like have fun in MOBAs. Like they like the farming aspect. They like the character building aspect where they'll play a character that's designed to farm and build up around that in making it stronger whereas fighting games you sit down you get in there and you fight so to the fighting game community i've obviously triggered you guys i didn't mean to i'm sorry here's a tissue and then somehow people brought it to dark souls like dude i don't care if you try hard in dark souls like if you're invading obviously you'd want to accomplish your mission invading i'm talking about people who are smurfing people who are definitely not in their elo playing with their friends trying to show off for some e-girl or something dog like i'm confused how that's a hot take if you are trying your hardest to win why aren't you playing ranked some dude on twitter tried telling me that casual game modes are not for people who aren't trying their hardest to win what are they for then but it proves my point that people like this just see casual as ranked 2.0 rainbow six siege and csgo have tried to fix this problem by putting in literally an unranked game mode because apparently putting in two game modes one for tryhards and one for casuals just wasn't good enough apparently to him casual game modes is just ranked but without ranked rewards people are trying to tell me that i was just making up scenarios all right let's let's solve this right now then leave a comment if you and your friends were playing a game a moba rainbow six or some other fps and the enemy team in a casual game was running a pro strat they were all playing heroes champions or whatever that are aligned with each other and combo very well with each other and shit that you would see in a pro match whereas you and your friends were just playing whatever you like right has that ever happened to you if not then i got bad news for you you're the team that's tryharding have you ever played a game against a dude whose profile picture was some esports team he's got days i mean days that would add up to almost a year on the game and you know he obviously is gonna win he carries his team and then his team's typing gg easy afterwards has this ever happened to you bonus points if you re and he's on your team in bottom frags if you ever played a game went to the shit talkers profile and they've already played more than 20 games for that day and they're level 300 but still in silver or gold have you ever had that i mean people were saying that oh you can't just say that everybody that beats you spends all their time playing in the day and age where you can check their profile and see how many games a day they're playing i think i can sure you could argue that they get to play as many games as they want and get as good as they want but i also reserve the right to call them a loser that has no aspirations in life so when i said shit like that people are like oh well you're just cherry picking sure that happens but not as often i guess one out of three games isn't that often i mean this is how video games die bro i logged into counter-strike just recently and they completely changed their matchmaking again because they fucked it up in 2017. I played with people both on both teams that purposely threw to D rank so he can play with shitty people. You gonna tell me that didn't exist? The change of the rank system genuinely killed that game. Fall guys, everybody was tryharding, died in a week. I know this might be a far out example, the RuneScape Wilderness, where people just find easy targets to kill. Anybody that's in the wilderness that's not there to kill people have nothing on them and they still get targeted by people who are just bored. They're nothing but an inconvenience. And you know what their answer is to that? If you don't want to die, don't go to the wilderness. Okay, that's why the wilderness is dead. Now they're begging the devs to add more content to the wilderness so more people go into it. And guess what? The devs are doing that, but nobody's going in. Wow, it's almost like assholes ruined the entire part of that game. And people were trying to say I'm telling them how to play video games. 
I kinda am, bro. If you're gonna try your hardest, there's a game mode specifically for it. Please use it. You only play games to win? You don't play with your friends or just have background noise or anything? Why are you not playing ranked, dude? Like, again, how is this a hot take? Ranked is for people who are trying their absolute best, casuals for people who are just messing around. That's exactly how it was before esports went mainstream. I mean, people would play to mess around. Dunkey had comedic League of Legends videos. There was trolling videos. Nobody, like, nobody does that anymore. Everybody cares about winning nowadays. Like, if you would do anything to win, if the devs said right now, sucking my dick will give you an insta win and you guys would do it, please just play ranked. I'm begging you, bro. People are saying, if I don't care about winning, why am I complaining, right? And usually I don't. Usually when I'm against somebody better, I'll admit it. You know, you're better. You're the better player. It sucks that I got matched against you. I don't think I should have been matched against you, but it is what it is and you win, right? But... Most of the time, they're toxic. We'll play the comment game again. Leave a comment if you played a game where a guy is clearly trying his very hardest. Like, he is running pro strats, he's got thousands of hours, he's doing shit you've seen on esports Twitch TV shit while being toxic in chat when nobody's even talking to him. Like, I can understand if someone starts shit first, right? But nobody's even talking to the guy. It's at that point where I'm like, Alright, I'm hopping off because I don't want to be some guy's ego boost, you know what I mean? Clearly those people have problems and they need to get that sorted out at home. Like, I was thinking, people were calling me a scrub and shit, you know, that's how I knew the fighting game community was mad, by the way, but people were calling me a scrub, so... I was like, man, you know, maybe I am. Maybe they should make a scrubs only game mode in all these games, right? So people like me can play against other people like me and actually have fun for once. But then I realized that wouldn't work because then all you tryhards will flock to that game mode. It'll become the new ranked. Guarantee you everybody in that game mode will then be a smurf. But... We didn't even get to talk about smurfs in my last video. Are you guys gonna tell me that I invented smurfs up in my head and that nobody smurfs in video games? Are you gonna gaslight me to thinking that dude that has 10 minutes on Counter-Strike just downloaded the game and is already playing at an MGE level? I also got a lot of comments of people saying, I wanna play against people, you know, trying, dude. You should actually try and stuff like that. Why do you have a smurf account then? I know high elo players, dude. They all have smurf accounts. You're no exception. If you want to play with people of the same skill level, why do you make smurf accounts? Maybe because I am right and you're just a terrible person. But when you lose badly on your main account, you do need that ego boost, that pick me up, that reassurance that you are good at the game at the expense of a guy who plays an hour a day. You're a terrible person. Just admit it. I already know how people are going to react to that. They're going to say, oh, are you saying everybody better than you is a smurf? Never said that, bro, but you're gonna deny Smurfs exist? I caught your ass, bro. You you are writing that comment as I'm speaking. I just got one thing I want to say to you, and then I'm gonna I'm let you go. You have a learning disability. Also, people are saying, why don't you practice the game you want to be good at? Because then it's not a game, it's a chore. I mean, game is in video game. It's not a game if I'm practicing the game. Do you not know how stupid that sounds? Could you imagine practicing basketball so you can absolutely win every time you're at a local pickup game? Dog, they're not going to want to play with you. I'm sorry to say that. They're not going to want to play with you. Why stop at practicing? I got money. Why don't I just hire a coach? Is that fun for everybody else? I get coached in a casual setting and beat everybody? Do you think that'd be fun? How'd you feel some guy was going around typing GG Easy shitting on you and then you found out he had a coach? I mean, sure, some of you guys might laugh it off, right? Oh, that guy's got a coach, what a loser, right? Two years from now, everybody's gonna have a coach. Then you're gonna be in my position complaining about people that get coached and they're gonna come to you and say, Oh man, get good, scrub. You should get a coach too. Wow, you're such a loser, bro. You don't have a coach in video games? Why are you even playing? And that is my prediction on the death of video games. I don't wanna brag. But I know you guys think I'm some scrub that's just complaining that everybody better than me is like a pro level or something. I've gotten almost diamond in every game I've touched. I've been top 700 in PUBG. That was when I was in high school and had time to play video games. Unfortunately, I have a life now, so... And sure, I wasn't the best, but at least I knew how to tone it down. I think that's the difference. I had enough social awareness to know when to tone it down in a casual setting versus you who's autistic and has to win every single game you play. And I'm not saying autistic to be, like, insulting. It's a genuine trait of autism. You need to get it checked out, dude. In fact, I think so many people got mad because the truth hurts. I mean, I called you out on something you do, and you don't like that. I think it shattered your reality. Like, you started seeing that people outside of video games see you as a genuine loser. Loser. I'm sorry that is that's the truth like we do we really do you know that I mean where it's like you may think I'm a loser in real life but in the gaming world you're the loser that's literally you guys like a hundred percent you guys I might be a scrub in video games bro but you're a scrub in real life get over it